fall damage Raphael for on this stage, though? Yeah, I would assume this is not necessarily something that uh, Valdo would want. Uh, Valdo, not necessarily known for... Well, not really necessarily known for combos all that much anyway. But, uh, okay, so we're starting off with the toss. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I would assume Valdo would want a lot more room to run around. Because the one thing I can think of that he would have over Raphael is the uh, ability to push back with a lot of his moves. You know, stuff like that. Stuff like 2-2-A. Yeah, <laughs> he already did it immediately. But Raphael basically going to be good in every other way. Yeah, and Valdo in general wants to play a very annoying game. Wants to back away... Um, when he's back turn, he has strongest back back dash in the game and really extremely good movement. Mm -hmm. So Bodo does not want to play at zero range, and if he does, he's trying to get back turn and throw out something squirrely. Yeah, something like that, something like Mantis. But for the most part, Novo doesn't really go for that kind of stuff. That's more of a Manta kind of thing rather than a Novo thing. Yeah, and it's still an effective strategy. I haven't seen much of Novo's Voldo. Um but he's, I know that he's extremely proficient in it. The GI doesn't work. No awaits, and you get punished. It's a very wow. typical setup for that GI out of that uh, Soul Chart situation. I'm actually kind of surprised that Noah didn't do the GI once he started going through that string, but, you know, this is the first game. Oh, two swords with the donation of $15. That completely pays for the stream. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. All right. Well, um, good stuff, two swords. Yeah, I always appreciate when I can get it out of the way. That way I don't have to shill, like, over and over and over again and be worried that I'm not going to be able to pay for this time. So I very much appreciate it. Thanks very much. Oh, drops the wall. Oh, Whoa, weird 1A, errant 1A. <laughs> okay. I've never seen that SmackDown before. <laughs> <laughs> We're anti airing but Moto <gasps> glowing red. Uh, oh, that's. Uh, uh, oh, drops it. I wonder if there's like a weird thing about, you know, how Valdo's hurt boxes just kind of disappear sometimes. So maybe yeah. there's some sort of weird Raphael combos like don't work on him sort of thing. Yeah, that's that could be up there with a the number situation that just dropped with Valdo being back turn. Yeah. Ooh, oh, got the GI. I feel like he could have gotten a little bit more. Wow, that's still tracked. Bleed. Oh. And that dropped. Okay, so we got some spaghetti going on just in general, but it's a first of ten. We got plenty of time to figure things out. Still not getting those wall combos. <laughs> no getting his. That's the Valdo wall combo, I guess. And that dropped immediately also. It also <laughs> looked like Kashi kind of like gave up on that combo in the middle. He was just like, I don't want to <laughs> yeah. give him a potential whiff punish or anything, so I'm just going to just do this and then stop. Nice. Okay. All right. Good punish. Kashi now on the board. Yeah, Kashi being able to outspace Valdo with Raphael. I mean... Raphael's range is nothing to scoff at, but still, uh, very impressive. <laughs> so many weird things happening in the first cave. Hey, that is Voldo. Like, yeah. Voldo is up there with Killick with the people who always say, like, oh, he's not even that good. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always important to remember that when people say, like, I don't think Huang is all that good. But when I say he's not all that good, I mean he's still uh, cheap as all get out. Um, it's just that every character in this game is. So, are they good in terms of the scope of power of the characters in Soul Calibur Six? Not really, but on paper, they still have plenty of stuff. Yeah, they got all types of jank. Yeah, there's every character like, in this game, just jank city. Yeah, like, I, I know, like, with Voldo, um, if you knock him down and his back, it is, um, his head is, um, not, his feet are towards the opponent. Mm-hmm. He has an extremely fast back roll and can whip punish yeah. more than any in the game. And it makes no sense that he has that one particular mechanic that's only for Voldo. I feel like that's always been the case with Voldo in the majority of the games. It's same, definitely the same with SE5 and 4, the other ones that I play competitively, where it's always a matter of, like, Voldo, when he's on the ground, trying to do typical Oki kind of setups, simply don't work on him. You just have to be comfortable with the fact, like, okay, he's on the ground, I have to just go away. And yeah. I just have to j just be comfortable with the fact that I'm never actually going to get any Oki. All right. I've had it. All right. Well, we are one zero, no zero over Kashi. I was gonna say that if Kashi loses this, I would imagine he would want to stay with this stage so that he can get the wall combos and stuff like that. But they're really not working out, so maybe he wants to change the stage. I don't know. No, okay, mm -hmm. he doesn't. I think like the one thing that's really frustrating with the Voto matchup is that Voto can choose to disengage better than anyone else in the game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, we're just not fighting right now. Bye. <laughs> yeah, it, it, like, you know, when I think about being able to disengage, I think about how Omaru and his ability to backdash, like, to Infinity and Beyond and, like, Tira and stuff like that. But with Valdu, it's, like, his ways of getting out of stuff. He can still backdash and stuff, but he's like, well, what if I just flop on the ground? And you're like, what? 
It's like, yeah, yeah, what if I just, like, fall on the ground and my uh, hurt boxes just disappear? It's like, okay. Yeah, bye. Well. I'm, I'm gonna see you nerds later. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got a character like Raphael who relies so heavily on pressure that is regarding a lot of highs that um, being able to, like, plop yourself on the ground, laying prone, having a pseudo-reverse mix-up while you're prone is a pretty big deal yeah. for a pressure-based character like this. Yeah, oh, I love that move. Yeah. <laughs> That always catches me, because there's that one string where he can potentially go for a high, and I always duck it, and then, like, the kick ends, always ends up catching me. Alright, and good block, Ooh. though! But that doesn't hit. No, he's yeah. Back well, he was also crouching, and so, so the, the second hit being a high, uh, Noah could have actually gotten a, uh, a hit as a punish off of that, uh, as well, if he was prepared for it. Good slap. <laughs> okay. And, yeah, that we're just I dancing that. around each other. Yeah, Kashi looks like it's successful for this game, but he looks mad uncomfortable right now. He's doing very small pokes. He's not overwhelming his opponent like Raphael tends to do with virtually any other character. And so um, he's just getting small pokes here and there, which I think could potentially spell disaster for him later I on. Am having a good time. <laughs> oh. And wait, it out. Good pressure. No block on the low. Very defensive. Oh, he's just going for that string all day. No, it's not blocking it, so I understand. Ooh, nice! Oh! That's gonna do it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't think it will. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. And this is the tuckable knockdown now. Yep. You can't do your typical setup anymore. Oh, okay. he got nerfed? Nice. Alright. Mm. Wow, I, I, I did not know that. Uh, I knew Raphael's CE did very low damage. I didn't know it did less than, like, the yellow life that uh, yeah. you typically see. Okay. Yeah, I remember um, during the patch where they nerfed Mitsuruki CE to do less than the full yellow, mm -hmm. they also did it to Raphael. Mm, okay. And so like, his his nerf stayed, Mitsu's got buffed, but then they <laughs> yeah. uh, they slowed down his startup. And uh, were both of them made techable knockdowns at the same time, or was that a different Oh, uh, no. That was oh, just Raphael's. That was, okay. Okay, so we decided to go to a different stage. Um, for the most part, I think this is something that Noah would like a little bit more. Valdo's ringouts, um, not particularly all that strong, but Raphael basically doesn't have any ringouts at all, so I think definitely better in that regard. Yeah, he, ha he has a little bit of wall carry, but at the end, it, um, it turns you slightly to the right. Yeah. And so if you're not able to line up that, uh, that shot, then you're going <laughs> to die. Like like that. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say that 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 uh, that crouch into the wall isn't be fantastic. Ooh, ignorant wretch. He's got a lot of work to do, Kashi. Hey, here we go. Does he get a wall uh, hit? No, he ends up screwing the combo, but uh, gets a, the seal below. Okay, there we go. All right, goes for the goes for the grab. Like, that's one thing that's very good in Soul Calibur. Is if it's the end of the round, I'm just gonna hold duck. Yeah. You figure it out. <laughs> Very shades of Zephukai, uh, when you have a character that can potentially lethal hit for ducking a grab. That's always a solid way to go about it. Alright. <laughs> no, not... Very opposite, diametrically opposite than Manta. Manta goes through all those kinds of, like, stances and everything. Noah just likes playing Balda for, like, the pokes and stuff. He could have gotten the punish there again. Good poke, though, Waikashi. Yeah, this overall slow poking game, I would think that Baldo wins out on it, but I don't know. It just seems like uh, Kashi's winning out the day with Raphael. I'm kind of surprised by that. Yeah, I honestly believe like just in the in the slow poke idea, in the slow poke um, game plan. Game plan, yeah. I believe that Raphael takes that just because he has a lot faster pokes. Yeah. If you're doing the poke game plan with Baldo and you're not going into stances, in back turn he has um, I-10s. But right. he doesn't have that. He doesn't have that in forward. He's a lot slower when his, when he's head towards. So, like right now, now it's Voto party time. Yeah, but Raphael still with the additional uh, soul charge time. He's gonna get a huge amount of damage here. That's gonna reset. Novo's gonna have a. Ooh, okay. I was not expecting him to be in grab range at that point. One bar to none. Potentially have to. Okay, that should be. Nope. 2-2-A. Two, two, uh, Noah has to make sure not to get too impatient. If you're going to try and mount a comeback, you can't necessarily force it. That's not going to kill, but it's going to get him great. It is going to kill? I believe so. Wow. I mean, he is in deep yellow, so it and might... I'm wrong. Oh. <laughs> but fantastic Goki here. Nice. Yeah, you can't do it. Even Raphael is going to have to uh, respect that after that block. 
But he's got two bars, though. Oof. That still caught him. Yeah, two bars. Still potentially Noble's gonna have an additional bar, assuming he loses this round. <laughs> Playing it so slowly, I'm frankly kind of surprised. Well, they're, they're both the same human being. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah, if you are if you only have one arm to play Raphael and the other arm is playing Valdo, I assume it can be pretty difficult to actually mount a lot of button presses and pressure when, you know, you only have 50% going your way. Ooh, that's going to be good. And the that's going to kill. Yeah. Two bars to one for the last round. I would say that Raphael meter, I think, is more important than Valdo meter, just as long as you keep away from the I-12-CE when Valdo's in back turn. No punish on the low. Yeah. He's having a hard time with, like, punishes when the opponent is remaining crouching, I think, and it's causing him hesitation. Ugh. You're at the wall. This is scary. I'm glad that no longer lethal hits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I that's right. exist. <laughs> yeah, it technically still lethal. I don't remember what the new... Ah, that's it. Sure. <laughs> yeah, whenever you're dealing with the end of a round uh, and Valdo is on the ground, you can rest assured he is looking for that wake-up CE. Huge amount of pushback, gigantic range, horizontal, massively unsafe, but obviously that's not going to matter if you hit it. Yeah, but it's I-12 also when it's yeah. max turn. And so, like, that uh, that um, back layout where he just slides on the ground, that's that's a, one of the best setups for a CE yeah. ever. It's like, it's you like we were talking about before. Yeah, like, it's like you want to do something, you just can't. <laughs> yeah. You have to hit something that is definitely going to hit, like, a prone opponent. Uh, and even then, you just really have to make sure that you have, like, so Raphael, I'm not sure he has anything that could potentially hit in that situation. Yeah, and like, most people who have lows that um, hit on the ground, that are able to hit Vodo out of that, they're usually, like, I-16. Yeah. And so, to slap Vodo while he's on the ground, when he lays himself out, and you're like... I'm going to hit him, but I was like, do it, nerd. <laughs> yeah. Plus, yeah, plus on top of it, the only way to really ensure that you actually have a media attack in this situation is to run up to him and be like, okay, now you're going to have to take this this block, but I'm also good, a little bit hesitating because of the CE that you have. And then Valdo can then reverse that mix-up into like a Yomi level 3 kind of thing and just like wake up <laughs> with a button, wake up with a 2A or jumping around or whatever. It's, it's quite, it's very tricky. It's the I know that you know that yeah. I know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just keeps going. The cycle just keeps going. The wheel of. Uh, oh no! Oh. A CE? Did he mean that? I well, think that he, guy. I can't tell if he meant to do like soul attack slash soul charge or if he like saw the beginning animation of the low and was like, he's whipping. Let me go for it. Nice block. Good. Not heavy punish, but. Man, you get what you get. He's just slow the whole time. <laughs> this is triggering my oh. lack of media button. Yeah, so apparently the new uh, lethal hit condition is that uh, the opponent has to whiff a vertical, and then that will lethal hit nowadays. Oh, that that's ridiculous. Yeah. It's significantly... You... It, it's actually, like, I don't know, kind of exciting to see that lethal hit nowadays, because it's actually like you set something up other than just having a... A BS lethal hit condition. Oh, wow, he takes yeah. that round. Guard gauge, hurting, one bar each. Nah, Raphael's not gonna be able to handle that. Oh, I feel like he could have gotten away from that, but oh well. Ah, uh, drops the combo. Yeah, once they get like one character length. B betwixt each other, Kashi seems to be in the driver's seat, which makes sense. But the millisecond they're at any other kind of spacing, Noah just does this. And Kashi yeah. is just bobbing and weaving, trying to find his way in. Voto has so many safe, like, yeah. horizontal mids where he's just ducking the Super Freak. Super Freak has been buffed also. Yeah, it gives him that additional lethal hit, too. Oh, oh wow. good lord. Canceling, g g going into the crawl, then canceling the crawl, then going into crawl again. Yeah, because, like, well, for Super Freak, originally it used to be that if you, um, you could get an I-16 out of it if you were able to do a quick enough move. And now it's just kind of like, nah, nah, it's safe, safe. Right. Ooh, I very to lucky. I would have been scared to death if I was trying to do that punish from Kasha, because, again, that was that string that goes mid into high. Draytheon with the gigantic host. Just for all of you new viewers, thanks very much, Draytheon. Uh, we've got our Parsec first to ten. Noah versus Kashi, basically the same person, but playing Raphael and Valdo. Mm -hmm. 
good 2k to get out of it, though. He's dead to uh, a CE, I think, at this point. Now he and definitely he is. Uh, wait! Oh, he's against the wall! Yeah, he can potentially do a lot with his Soul Charge, but he has to be... Yeah, okay, definitely the smart choice to Soul Charge for the burst. <laughs> Doesn't get a punish! <laughs> okay. That was weird, but alright, Noo pulling out here, 3 to 1 so far, still plenty of time. Plenty of time to figure something out, Pl plenty of time for a different character if you so choose. Mm -hmm. Ooh, looks like yeah. that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's the Super Freak buff, because previously that Super Freak, how it would hit, it wouldn't cause the side evasion. Mm -hmm. And that side evasion, along with its um, frame recovery um, reduction, that that is a game changer for Bodo players, because Bodo's normally very squirrely, but if he can set up a situation where it'd be a force block, and he gets out of the guard crush and has the ability to force a mix-up on you... Right. That's really changed how um, the characters play now. Like these, these la the last patches that they've released have a been a blessing to a number of players. So, would you say that before, whenever you were dealing with a Volta that was doing a Super Freak, you could feel comfortable just kind of going through strings because he didn't have that horizontal evasion to begin with? So, yeah, he would dodge the first hit, but then you would just keep going with your additional hits, and he would get hit well, anyway. He had that evasion, but what they changed was the recovery on it. Okay. So on the evasion, he had a bunch of frames where if you threw out something really, really meaty, you could punish him for doing a Super Freak. But now you can't punish him for doing the Super Freak. Mm -hmm. And so it, the, the Super Freak having you know a, a strength and a weakness where you would evade something, but the weakness was is that if you evaded the wrong thing, you eat a whole bunch of damage, that weakness is now gone. So you can just throw it out in a number of scenarios, and it's really, really safe, and it makes the matchup a lot more difficult for a number of people who are able to punish it. Yeah, you're definitely seeing that kind of thing uh, with a lot of the Volta players that we're seeing nowadays. I also wanted to mention that I appreciate the uh, the whiff punish that Kashi ended up going with in order to get that last round, staying prone. Vol uh, Raphael, again, I don't think is necessarily the best when it comes to like that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. All right, we got the first uh, stance mix. Oh, this hey. Time. If uh, Noah doesn't use the stances, Raphael will. Yeah. You're just constantly just going through typical pressure. Yeah, see, there, he has a tough time. Like, that 3B could potentially hit grounded, but it's mad slow. Doesn't end up getting the GI. Pathetic. I don't think that's the move that he was looking for. Go to the grab, get off me. <laughs> oh, come on! Nam gods. Trying to go for that string. Yeah, yeah that, uh, that prep into the low uh, seems to be money for him right now. Uh, does not get the full evasion? Ooh, yeah, he can't already cancel anymore, my guy. That is, thank the lord, is no, is no longer there. Yeah, I haven't seen that. When did that happen in the patch notes, where they got rid of um, his already cancel? Uh, well, they've made it significantly slower. Um, I consider it, I call it the post- first NEC patch when Raphael was like up there as like one of the top three characters in the game. Oh yeah, that thing was dumb. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If the game had kept going the way it was when the game first launched, I have no reason to believe that true blue competitive players will be playing any character other than Raphael, oh, Ivy, or Aswell. Yeah. Like maybe Mina, maybe Valdo, because he still had like the the C E kind of weirdness and stuff, but those those three characters that was like SE5 where there's like these, these, three, these three characters and everybody else. I, I just I just saw that guard crush drop. I don't, yeah, what, it was what, very what? weird. <laughs> and he takes it though. He yeah, doesn't need combos. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, with all that being said, I, I gotta say, like, Kashi definitely looks uncomfortable having a tough time trying to maneuver what he wants to do into the match because Valdo's so weird, uh, but he's making it work. It's just taking him a really long time. Like, he's doing all these little tiny pokes, he never gets to actually overwhelm his opponent uh, the way that Raphael can, and so he's he just has to play a super slow game, and it seems like he's comfortable with it. Ooh, congrats. And yep. that'll kill, so that's two. Like, so the thing that I'm seeing now is that Vodo makes it damn near impossible to have a mental streak 
like where you're going against somebody you're like yeah I got, I got their rhythm it's like no it's Voldo Voldo's dumb and you have to deal with that yeah assuming that your Voldo opponent has any modicum of adaptability uh it, it's going to be a real tough thing just trying to gain a certain level of a rhythm that is going to work through the entire first attempt because 10 is uh, 10 wins is a lot of games so it's mm -hmm. going to take a while nice now obviously that's not going to kill he doesn't get anywhere near as good Oki as he once did I'm assuming Novo's just gonna tech back and get out of there. Get out of here! Ooh! I... Wait, no? <laughs> I, I actually disagree with you on that, Novo. I think what I said was correct. <laughs> and you're going into Soul Charge, he's gonna have to try and do... Yeah, that was gonna be a tough... A tough way to deal with, like, I can't get hit by a single Raphael poke. <sighs> oh! Oh, okay. That was weird, but okay. Tiger Knees or an RFP <laughs> Tiger! Kashi keeping that perfect spacing about like two and a half character lengths away from uh, themselves, and so forcing Novo to whip and then getting a punish. Not a gigantic punish, but a punish nonetheless. Ooh, no like, jump on the high! Like, I'm so used to playing against Manta, it's just weird seeing a Voldo not staying back turn. I know, right? <laughs> the amount of time that we've seen Novo in Mantis is like. The length that we've had over these past five games is what you would normally see from Manta in one round. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, nice side step. Oh man, they're they are playing tight right now. Is that death? No. Actually gets a oh, reversal edge for like the first time in this set. Gets it. Okay. Oh my Kashi tying it up three to three. You will do well. And we're at three up. I, I honestly didn't think that he'd like he'd have the stones to go for that B. Yeah. I'm surprised he never thought about switching when it got to like three and one. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm surprised he decided to just go back to character select, get a, like a little bit of a breather, and then go back. He got a good stage. He got back to the stage that I think he wanted at first. Noah probably a little bit more happy with this kind of stage. Do not one. Yeah, this one. This gives a whole lot of room for Voldo <laughs> to run away and be a squirrely bastard. Yeah. Nice punish. Yeah, you can't punish two two a unfortunately. Good damage. And I, I really did not expect this to just be a Voto Raphael match. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I'm wondering if they're going to go with this the entire time. Uh, we can potentially have Mitsu, or Geralt, or Mina. There's a lot of other characters that these two play. Typically speaking, when I see Noel either play in tournament or in some of the other first attempts I've had him on here for, he will play Valdo until effectively his opponent beats him into submission <laughs> and then forces <laughs> Noah to go to with a different character. But it doesn't look like that's gonna be happening today. Let's see. Good back step. Ah. No first blood get in and you died. Yeah, he, he, he's he's a little bit overly ambitious with trying to deal with that thing. I feel like just running in and uh and blocking appropriately is gonna be the way to go. Good punish. Hype kick. Hmm, Sorry. I think that was supposed to be two two B, but okay. I like that. Gets the splat. Yeah, you can't roll away from that. Michael Phelps. Man, imagine you're Raphael and you get to go in Soul Charge and you don't have the initiative. Ooh, nice cancel on that. <laughs> that was fantastic. Oh, man. You, you never have the initiative if you win in a Soul Charge against <laughs> yeah. a Volta. It's yeah. kind of the way it is. It's like, you pop Soul Charge, sweet. Get away. Yeah. Oh man, that's real unfortunate for Kashi. I think it, what Kashi wanted at the end of that round is just to force Noo to uh, take the break. Uh, that way he doesn't have to deal with it later. Now he's going to have to win three rounds with a guard break just looming over his head the whole time. Yeah, but Noo's getting really impatient. He, he wants to attack, and he's yeah. gonna. And as I say that, we're back <laughs> to Glorin. Bleed. Wow, he still gets a combo from like a million miles away. Don't get reverse rung out. Okay, we're, we're too close into the stage now, but it's always very scary. Nice block. Block. Aw, oh, trying to do the Manta thing. I don't think it's working. Yep, yeah, but standing B connects. <laughs> yeah, I think if Noah wants to start getting a little bit aggressive and trying to, like, go in and everything, uh, I really think that he's playing the wrong character in the matchup. I don't really think that's going to work. I assume an immediate soul charge is going to be coming? Definitely yeah. have to do it now. No, I'm I'm wrong. Okay, he waited because uh, the the prep B in that situation is going to beat Soul Charge. So yeah, that's not a break attack. Oh, 
I thought oh. it wasn't soul charge. It is when you when you um hold it. Lethal it. Launch. And, and. No launch, but still a load of damage. Gonna have to deal with this wall pressure again. I like getting ah. aggressive there. Nice. That's the first time he's been aggressive when Kashi activated Soul Charge. Getting his break point. Alright, so it's a break after five, right? Oh, sorry. They're gonna play uh, like the full first to ten and everything, and then we'll have like a small break in between uh, the matches and stuff. Okay. So, go to the mid. Notice, guard. Noel's not necessarily trying to. Doesn't get a wall sweat there. Uh, Noel's not necessarily trying to uh, to duck some of these highs uh, in the prep pressure. Not normally something I guess he's used to. Mm hmm. Did you get it? Yeah, okay. No, he died. He ended up dropping it. Oh, there's so much soul charge. <laughs> there's still so much soul charge left. It's so hard. Yeah. <laughs> that was, he was freaking out just trying to get out of there at that point. <laughs> Alright, so he's almost got one full bar, though. And goes to the string. Still eats that. Oh, man. Look at that spacing. The movement choices are very deliberate, like the specific moves that Novo is using to push him away just to try and bait out a whiff punish. But that being said, I feel like Kashi is actually more successful with the whiff punishes overall so far in the set. Uh, the cancel? Ooh, the clash setup! Ooh. Goes under the high, he's clapped, ah, this and... Is gonna, this is gonna be real tough, he has to not get hit by one Raphael poke. Yeah, got the I-12C. Oh, that's still tracked. Ugh. <laughs> no distance pokes. Oh, wow. And Fantastic whip push. Uh, the, these are just the distance. Yeah. Where the, the second hits just don't connect. Because they're trying to play such a slow spacing kind of game that they end up uh, unintentionally right. dropping a lot of stuff. Was that a soul charge that got uh, beat out? Some sort of yeah, it looked like a soul charge. Wow, Valdo BB, huh? This is just weird seeing a Valdo with his face towards you. <laughs> yeah. Who does that? How dare you look at me, except not really look at me. Like, is Valdo blind, or is he just like some... Dude, he's just having fun. I think he's just a guy who had his eyes... I mean, you probably can't see now, because he's been doing this for, like, 50 years. But, uh, yeah, you can't. You have to still block that. That hitbox is gigantic, when, especially when there's, like, prone situations going on. I wonder if these jump bees are intentional. I can't tell. Well, the, I mean, if he was going for a 2A, that'd be a good idea to, like, just try to stuff it out. Yeah. <gasps> Is that it? No, this doesn't ring out. <laughs> Ruffians. I like Kashi backing up in this situation. Stand up. Lots of good pressure. Okay, he's also building up a uh, a guard crush at some point. Ooh, nice. Super freak. That thing is so. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> In the first hit, nice uh, duck. Okay. And he's got the momentum going. Kashi needs to keep those buttons flying. Wow, Kashi sidesteps so much he took Baldo from back turn to front turn. Good sidestep. Ooh, aggressive soul charge. It's gonna force Kashi to spend some meter pretty soon, I think. Unless he's gonna sit there and try to wait to get like a CE punish. Yeah, okay. Ooh, doesn't Maybe get the burst, not. though. This is a big deal. This guard crush is potentially going to... Yeah, that's going to That's going to kill. Very smart stuff. And with that, we're at 5-3. No overcut. Yeah, that was really fantastic. I appreciated the fact that he he kept Noo kept just enough distance to where he knew he would be safe from a soul charge activation, and then the second that he didn't have to worry about an additional soul charge activation, he can keep up force blocks until the day he dies, meaning the day that the gar crush happens. 
We've gotten this stage randomly three times in the last six games. <laughs> I'm quite impressed. Yeah. We haven't been to Olympus. No. We haven't even gotten this stage when it's dark, have we? We've just nah. gotten this stage. <laughs> Like we, even, we haven't even gotten the dumb desert. Like, apparently we only get that if there's a Zaslamel being picked. Yeah. Oh, good nice duck. duck. These guys have very good ducks, especially at the end of games. I think they're very good at, like, figuring out that people want to get a grab to try and start off uh, some momentum. Well. Yeah, Noah has some fat, fantastic punishes sometimes on, like, some of these uh, these ducks. Okay, good. Like, these pokes by Noah have been yeah. ridiculous. Fantastic choices. Oh my god. He's been eliminating Raphael Soul Charge, one of the Soul Charges that I find the most infuriating to deal with. Yeah, like, the the the, the, the Super Freak buffs are... Ugh. <laughs> like... Yeah, it's clearly something that Kashi is not used to. Probably not something that a lot of people are used to. Okay, he gets, a, he gets the duck there. Doesn't get the full punish, though. It's, to be. It just feels like Noah is just slowly but surely taking the same game plan and making just very fine corrections to the point where he's just like squeezing out any hope for Kashi to like keep up in the damage race, especially in the Gar Crush race. And he's finding a way to make Kashi duck with Voto back turn. Yeah. That is that's impressive because Voto back turn doesn't have really powerful lows. <laughs> <laughs> Triple stance cancel. Shades of JJJ going through stance parries. <laughs> Shades of JJJ. Yeah. Two bars apiece. I wonder if he's going to try to aggressively soul charge here to take use of the stage position. Doesn't get his sidestep, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Now he's glowing yellow. But it looks like... Wow, fantastic duck! It's always good to aggressively duck against Raphael. Lots of highs, lots of grabs. Alright. So charge, get near the wall, heathen. <laughs> oh, finally he gets he actually gets something out of Raphael's soul charge. I appreciate the <laughs> fact that he like waited so that he would he would be the person who soul charged second so he could keep the stage positioning there. Hey, hey. Good punish on that 3k back turn. I assume we're gonna see a soul charge back. Nope, I lied. Was that what he wanted? Okay. <laughs> it worked the way, yeah. the way he planned. Sure. Ooh, can re against a soul charge, my guy. Every character gets more break attacks. That was Half-Life. Oh, that hurt. The BS slide into AA. He's going to guard. He's going for that guard break. Oh, for sure. He's got that extra meter. He's just buying. Yeah, here we go. Now and he's, he's going for the big swim. <laughs> There's like nothing you can do about that break attack. And there it goes. What? Oh, what? Oh, yeah. oh, what? Uh, nice, uh, nice mix. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Six to three. <laughs> but yeah, it definitely seems like he's realized a certain, uh, like what he's going to do is that he's going to take these opportunities to try and just put Kashi in a force block scenario to where eventually the Gar Crush is going to win him uh, the game. Okay, we're going to Geralt. Gero can most certainly compete with uh, Valdo when it comes to the range of the pokes. Not necessarily the damage, but the range for sure. <clears throat> so, the like, I don't, I don't get, like, okay, so, the one thing I'm, that happens a lot nowadays, we're getting the same stage, it's yeah. like, this stage has also been picked. Yeah. Like, that's number two, it's like, hey, want to go to Setsuka stage? Yeah, congratulations. When I uh, started doing commentary for the online stuff during COVID, I started talking about how, like, it seems like certain tournaments and stuff would have stages as, like, the theme. Like, stages that would just get picked constantly uh, over and over again. And, uh, boy, oh boy, this is definitely one of them today. Yeah, like, um, even, like, when we had, um, in the days, this stage was pitched, like, half of the games. Right. And it was set to random. It's just, like, it just always does. You know, I have actually played against Noo in this matchup specifically, and uh, I find that Geralt can... The game plan for Geralt is basically always the same no matter what the opponent's character is. Is that going to do it? No, it's not. 
A plus B, I think he thought he had meter there, but he didn't. Yeah, but, man, well, it, it worked out. Yeah. First round, Kashi. He's got a long ways to go. Noah's got six on him. I think you can definitely do it with Geralt. 3A and uh, 1A can do wonders in this kind of matchup, force the Valda player to feel like he has to, like, take chances. Um, and uh, you have a handful of things like 1AA that are, like, minus 12, and this gives you the opportunity to take advantage of the fact that Valda's minus 12 punish, pretty awful. So, um, all he has is, like, a standing K, right? Or, like, a 2A or something like that, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That is honestly it. Pokes. Ooh, nice step duck. Ah, uh, but don't forget, Geralt has a significant swim. amount of damage when you're in soul charge. Ooh, okay. But Vodo does things. Yeah, I, it's <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter if you just never have the opportunity to press a button other than G. But yeah, the objective is, okay, so he's doing the wall rising Bs. I kind of wish he would feel more confident about his crouches and go for a 6 BB, because that's really where you're going to get the damage. Yeah. And he has... He has bar. The problem is, like, um... <laughs> oh, good step punish. Oh, yeah. That 3B was delayed, but uh, he's choosing that 3B combo because 3B on wake up is a force block. He ended up delaying it. Uh, which I thought was very smart. The 1A? Yeah, that was gonna be... Yeah. That was gonna be impossible. So... Noo... Are we staying? Are we getting another stage? <laughs> no, <laughs> we we are getting neither. So, still Valdo versus Geralt. Noo has plenty of time. He has a cushion of, uh, of games where he can try to figure things out. Fantastic sidestep punish. I've never seen that combo hit. Oh my! Yeah, that was pretty good. That's the uh, the ring out combo too, I think. Slide in, good side step, and meters burn. BB. Yeah, this is the kind of game plan that I think Kashi wants to be doing. Put in, pepper in a little bit more one A, I think too, and uh, you'll be right as rain. Tries to go for the uh, the wall combo, doesn't work out. The A in that stance is unsafe. No one bees though from Geralt. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I guess you know, in a meta that's crowded with step duck, anything that's like a vert is very risky. Mm -hmm. And the one B is pretty linear. Perhaps we will see it if and when Geralt gets his one B lethal hit up, but I'm not getting the impression that's going to happen. <clears throat> no, no proper punish. Oh, he looked like he ducked, but then he got back into it. Yeah. All right. Good steps by Kashi. Trying to play this safe. 1B doesn't go for anything major. Far as in B. 3A. 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 3A is an absolute killer. Like, the way that Noo plays this match. So, for instance, uh, I would bet that Kashi would not necessarily feel comfortable in this matchup were it to be Manta who's playing Valdo. But because Noo goes for, like, the slow you know, poking kind of game plan, uh, I think Gero was a very smart choice here. Yeah, and see, like, I'm glad, if that was still a lethal hit, he would have been dead. Ooh, the 1A cancel. You don't get to see that every day. Trying to go for that 1A B lethal hit. Oh. Oh, just run up, just run up 3B. Uh, did he do the armor still? He did! Yeah! 1K on block isn't that punishable, no, oh, come on. Oh, he's still caught the sidestep! Bubbles, bubble, jump A, bubble! <laughs> I mean, hey man, hitbox is the size of a house and it's about as fast as it can get. Yeah, I mean, why not? It yeah. was hella good. Not punishable by Valdo either. Ooh, fantastic. Oh, that's gonna hit. Yeah. Like, the thing that's really scary with Voldo is, say you have something where you could like, turn your opponent backwards, right? It gets a good portion of the cast, that's a good move. When it's against Voldo, he's like, thanks. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you suddenly provided a wealth of opportunities to your opponent. I was actually trying to get here. I like the back grabs. Even though Voldo can break them, the amount of damage that you get off of the grabs is just simply too great. He's dealing with this Gar Crush again. Oof, I'm surprised, almost didn't... There. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't crush. That's not going to kill yet, 
Very close, though. There we are. There we go. Two pretty In total close games. Yeah, we're at 6 5. Okay, 6 5. <laughs> Half these purple. <laughs> All right, so finally a different <laughs> no, stage. No, 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 we got this stage once before. We have only had what? three. We've had the we had this stage, Seska stage, and the Wolf stage. These are the only oh, three God. stages that we've had. We had this once with Raphael and Valdo earlier on in the set. <laughs> we've only had three stages, and this is now game ten. Nice class oh. setup. Man, he's trying to get that like wall pressure going on with the. Uh, the 4K K stance, and uh, this is not working out. Honestly, I feel like Kashi would be uh, better off if he just stuck with the typical game plan: 3A, 1A, and grabs. Play basic. Yeah. Stay basic. It's it's Geralt. You don't play Geralt because you want to be fancy. Ooh, nice block. Uh, very weird. Uh. Bruh, bruh. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Three A on block into two B on block into wall rising B. I think the weird thing that's weird with Gerald is an experienced Gerald looks like Tekken two. Oh sure, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like poke, bruh, a mashing <laughs> one. Yeah, you can't get out of this. But like that's his way of being the most efficient. Like he oh. plays standard caliber. Yeah. It's literally as standard as humanly possible. Good Ooh, luck. nice punish. Nice punish with the, with the I-14 instead of the 12. Oh, just a boot to the face. Alright, what is he going to be able to do with this? Oh, doesn't get... Man, neither of these players has been all that uh, solid at starting off offensive pressure. The second that they get a knockdown and stuff, they're just... Uh, the defensive capabilities, I think, of both players far outmatches the offensive capabilities. Can't confirm. <laughs> We're almost at the end. They're actually running down the clock and you about to die. <laughs> I mean, at that point, you might as well just do as much guard damage as possible, right? Yeah, I mean, like, just go for it. <laughs> Oof. Caught him with, like, the not do a string and then do the string. Do the not string. Yeah. Run. That kick looks so <laughs> basic. Yeah, 6 is K. The only thing that's good about it is that it's already safe. Okay, expensive, but you get the uh, you get to continue the wall pressure here. Yeah, and he's just sliding in and poking. Nice wait. Gets the full damage that Carol can do. And that's it goes it. to the grab? Yep. Nice. That was pretty good, too, because uh, he, he kept Noah from getting his bonus bar for losing the second round. Yeah, and really, like, the fact is he's just smacking him around with a lot of basic moves with yep. Gerald, which is extremely efficient. Goes in, like, the 1K, he's getting paid dirt off of it, two-way. Everything that he wants to do to try to interrupt him. He's just slapping him around, but, yeah, that, that move hurts. <laughs> yeah. This is the kind of thing that I think, uh, yeah, he gets a lethal hit. Uh, that you get when your opponent has two bars. Ooh, he teched into it too, so he gets additional damage. Yeah, it goes into Soul Charge, but now you just gave uh, Kashi a whole bunch of... I'm willing to bet that a Force Bubble is coming. Oh, I was wrong. Yep. Different different meter move. I was going to bet on a 4B. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, 6-6. Six to six. You have run out of cushion, Noo. You're sticking with Valdo, huh? Okay. You will not beat me out of this. To be honest, um, when I play Geralt... I feel like the thing that he really struggles with is characters that have an I-10. Um, characters, uh. because, you know, Geralt's frame advantage basically never goes above plus two. And so he can get overwhelmed really easily. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know any characters that Noo uses that could take advantage of that. Um, if he, Raphael should be able to. Well, that's a Kashi character. I don't think that's a Noo character. Weirdly enough, we do have one character that maybe the other one doesn't play. Oh, uh, Okay. I think Mina might be actually very good against it, too. I think it's a good idea just to go with Mina and, and play, like, that kind of matchup. Uh, especially with the fact that Noah seems to already be comfortable going with, like, a guard crush kind of thing. And if you want to go, if you want to go with guard damage, there's nobody better than Mina, right? Uh-huh. Tiny poke. little pokes. 
This is still... Like, Kashi is... Oh! Is that out? I can't tell. Yes, it is out. No, he just... Oh, no! okay. Yes, it is! <laughs> <laughs> Kashi, you lucky son of a gun. Oh, man. That, that, that was, was, was cute. That was really funny. He dropped the combo. <laughs> nah. And then Baldo's like, don't worry, man. You, you, I got you deserve it. it. You got it. It's got two bars. It's always scary to try and spend meter against Geralt for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. it immediately, like, your soul oh. charge makes Geralt stronger. But then you you allow him to do this. Oh, no, that's too far away, right? Wow, you yep. actually... No, that's too far away. No, I lied about no. the second one. Okay. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> All right, well, that exchange was the weirdest thing that we've had since Geralt was selected. And to be, dude. Kashi is now in the lead. Yeah, these matches, honestly, ever since he switched to Geralt, they have not been close. Uh, I think Noah has to really take a serious look at this. Yeah. Are you switching, or are you just taking a breather? We're going with Mina. This makes sense to me. Now you can only lose two more games, so you better figure out something quickly. Hey, right, so he, here we got a different stage. Okay. I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> we actually are in Geralt land. And Mina's now giving him the grits. Ooh, I kind of wish he'd gone for a 3B there. He didn't have the meter for a 6BB combo. All right, here we go. And life is a little bit even. Kashi now with the lead. Yeah, one thing that I would say that Geralt really struggles against is um, trying to establish a lot of offensive pressure. Uh... Like, you know, in situations like this. Kashi able to do it, awkwardly, but still able to do it. Um, but overall, Geralt's ability to do to mount offensive pressure is significantly worse than, say, Raphael, the character he was playing before. No punish? Like, I'm really enjoying this neutral-based Geralt, though. Yeah. Like, it, it, it's all just, I'm going for the pokes, and I'm here to take advantage of every small little hit I can get. This is honestly no the way that you have to play Geralt. If you play Geralt, I mean, again, about as basic of a character as humanly possible in this game. If you're trying to play him any other way, I don't think it's the right way to play him. Okay. Uh, Try the pump fakes. Ooh. And... Oh no! Oh, he messed up his force block, and so that didn't work. But yeah, uh, Mina Soul Charge, I think, is definitely very good against uh, Geralt because the way he's going to try and establish pressure in that kind of situation is to go with the armor. But it doesn't matter to a character like Mina and Soul Charge, who has like 15 break attacks. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, good break. Good yeah, punish. It's the only punish that you can get, really. I am having a good time. <laughs> oh. Nice duck punish. That was good. Dead to a combo. You were alive. Oof. They're like, they're, they're defensive capabilities. Far see the offensive. Yeah, that was I mean, a hella good. Yeah, their ability, I mean, obviously the characters can potentially be limiting when it comes to offensive pressure, but I just get the impression from both of these players that they're very good at defending, not and, and have focused more heavily on that than the other way around. I noticed that, okay, he has to be worried about the 1AB lethal hit, because it could, it can, depending on where it ends up hitting, he could potentially, wow, that's fantastic, wow, 1A, that's a terrible punish, actually. But, he's got one of the signs. Yeah, he flashed blue. He needs one more to get it green for the 1B lethal hit. Noah with those two bars of meter. Yeah, and he can get that with a C. Okay, so we're going to spend Soul Charge. Ooh, Axie. Oh! A little bit ambitious. Wow, nice oh, punch! Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, Noah has been playing this this round in particular very scary. I, I, Noah doesn't believe in the soul charge you just popped. <laughs> yeah. It's true that uh, I would say that Geralt's soul charge not necessarily the most impressive thing. The duck? Ooh, that's it. Yeah, that's gonna kill. Okay, 7-7. Seven to seven. We've tied it up yet again. 7 up. Heads up. Make seven up yours. Hey. <laughs> okay, are we sticking with the same? There's a chance that Ka this is exactly what Kashi wanted, which is why Noo 
uh, decided to wait so long. Yeah, but and that match is really, really close. Oh, I just gotta say, Hossium with the $24 donation. I very much appreciate that. Thanks very much. That basically what? pays for an additional two uh, weeks down the road for uh, these Parsec streams. I always very much appreciate the uh, the amount of attention that these kinds of things get. Fantastic Lethal Hit by Noah. I apologize for interrupting the commentary, but I want to uh, definitely take a shout out for uh, especially these incredibly generous donations. Thanks very much. Ooh, caught him with trying to hop away. And this, wait, wait. that's going to be it. First time we've gotten to see that lethal hit. Yeah. At, and so the first time we're on girl stage, brand new lethal hits. What, what game is this? It's a brand new day. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a wonderful day. Yeah, something that we haven't really talked about with regards to Geralt is the fact that um, his grab range isn't the same as, like, IV command grabs, or Astaroth or something like that. But his grab range for a typical character is, like, the size of the moon. He just yep. arcs that arm out there. It's like, jeez. Lethal hit. Oof. And almost going yellow. These counter hit timings that Noah's had with uh, with Mina for these three Bs has been pretty impressive. Goes to the grab. Good break. And low stab. Trying to do that force bubble. Kind of an expensive thing. Oh, Kashi kind of there. running out of juice. I don't know what's going on. Like, no one has two bars, and I don't think he's going to use them. But only probably for CE. Yeah. He might use it for, like, a combo that goes into CE for, like, a ring out or something like that, though. They've been really leaning mad. This is, like, the closest we've gotten to the ring out so far on this stage. Yeah, they've been staying in the back for a while. Ooh, no, decided to drop the punish for a potential reverse ring out. I like it. Ends up costing him the round, though, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, that combo was suspect, though, man. Yeah. Because if, if I didn't kill, he'd have been like, ah, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, typically that 1K in that situation has a very odd angle for a ring out, and so maybe that's what he was leaning on. But at that point, you might as well just do the typical combo and kill. Ooh, he had he had sidestepped the 6B, but is not uh, is unable to do it for the rest of the combo. This Soul Charge has not done anything. Fantastic block. 3A. Like, these posts are ridiculous while rising yeah. B for a jump K. Dude, Kashi right, has, has sniped Noo out of the air over and over again. One bar to two. To be honest, I feel like in that situation you might as well spend CE, right? That'll give you the additional yeah. damage and you don't want to spend meter otherwise? Oof. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. These, these sidesteps are significantly better for Noo so far this round. Boo, 4-4-A, four, four, boo. No punish, double boo. Double boo. Ugh, Kashi just, oh, got, uh, just got timing down. I don't know what happened. Wild Rising B or full crouch 1K? Which one is it? 8 to 7. Two more, and no will takes it. Yeah, we're going back to Raphael. This is, I think, what Kashi was hoping would have happened. Uh, because this... So... Before, we weren't able to see Kashi overwhelm his opponent because the opponent was Valdo, and it's difficult to overwhelm them with stuff, right? But yeah. significantly easier to do that to Mina. You just have to get in. The second that you get in, you're going to be able noodle. to do something. Yeah, but Mina has the noodle, though. Like That is that's, true, that's the noodle, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and then, um, what is it, 44KA? Or 44KB? Um, yeah. Other auto GI? Yeah. And so it's like, I I'm not sure if this is going to be for the best, but... Let's see how Kashi works it out. We got a pretty large stage. Definitely uh, ups to Noah for that. Nice catching with the jump. Gonna be harder to catch those jumps with uh, Raphael than Geralt, potentially. Yeah, see, he's just trying to, like, mash buttons to get into the face. Oh, no. Noah, too patient. Alright, first round, Noah. And both of them almost at a meter. Kashi first bar, now Noo. Plus, Noo can be a lot more frivolous with his meter now that he doesn't deal with a character that punishes you for using it. Yeah, though, like, um, though Kashi didn't really get much advantage of it, though. Yeah, it was one of those, like, things that was probably working in the background of both of the players, but didn't actually get established on the screen. Yeah, like, pop Soul Charge, no. Do it, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Kashi pop 
Ooh, wow. So I, ooh. Ooh. Is the wall- the wall was weird! He didn't give him the second wall bounce for some reason. Wow, okay, what a challenge. Wow. Where, Why uh, did he challenge like that? That was so weird. The finger of Okubo was placed on the scale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mina in the Gar Crush. That could potentially be a thing. But Kashi is not necessarily... He, he needs to get a little bit warmed up, but he only has so much time left. Yeah. And... He's trying to establish the pressure, but good lord. Yeah, he can lose exactly one more game, and that is it. 1B connects. Ooh. Bleed! Is that it? No, it's Drops not. Drops the combo! He did get the chest frame. Is he gonna spend meter? Is he gonna try to spend meter? The jump kick! No, we'll get in the- oh. oh my god, Shades of Talon. Just always in the air, making these situations weird. Oh my goodness. Nice back right, But he's got two full bars. He can use it to get some advantage. Goes for the four grab. Ooh, bleed. not- Yeah, not respecting the bleed. Spectre Child. The ghost of Spectre Child. Ring out. Ring out pressure. A little bit weird. Whoa, what? It's a weird hit, okay. Alright, get off of me. <laughs> now, He's got damage to do. Now get back over here. <laughs> Dude, it's 6BB, 6BB, 6BB. Okay. Yeah, but I have Soul Charge already gone. And stabbed immediately. No punish. Bad grab broken. Good side step, oh. and he's dead! Went with the uh, the full crouch 1k, I guess, to, to, to maintain crouch. So uh, he didn't ha necessarily have to worry too heavily about additional Raphael pressure. Because typically, that kind of stuff, especially in Soul Charge, always starts with a high. Yeah, yeah, really. Nine so, to no, seven. He's one more, and he's rocking it out with Raphael. He decided to stay over. with uh, Raphael. Whoa, okay. No no Mitsu, though. I'm, I, we haven't seen a Mitsu in forever. Yeah, it's a shame. What are you going to do? That character having some rough goes of it as of late. 3 And that kills. All right. So here we go. Kashi, he's, uh, he's in there. He just needs to warm up again with Raphael. Now you have a character where um, you just have to worry about the fact that Noah was just constantly putting himself in the air. Why didn't that lethal hit? I thought that lethal hit in that situation, but I guess I'm wrong. Yeah. Ooh, Good duck, lethal lead. hits. Back hit. Ooh, the wall hit too! Look at this damage! Ooh, that's... Yeah, he's gonna make it cost the, the whole round. I'm gonna try to ring him out. Oh, he doesn't even I need to ring out. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just here to kill. Yeah. <laughs> and Kashi... Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kashi's pulling out some, like, cheesy tactics right now. I'm not sure what's going on, but it's like, he, like, puts his controller down when the round ends, and then, like, doesn't pick it up in time. But then, like, he just went in for a 1k, he was like, jump kick. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Like, I was thinking what you were thinking. Yeah. Getting good damage again. Ooh. Very scary. You see that, that, that commitment to that duck from Noo? These three Bs. Jump. Alright. Three B. Three B just raw, not actually going into anything else. Alright. We're at two bars even. Wow, just pulls out the uh what used to be 4A. I don't know if that's 4A anymore. Yeah, like that nobody does that move in general. 4 yeah. 4B connects though. Two bars and to two. Oh well, 50% life lead. It's capturing these sidesteps. Oh, that could have been a much bigger punish, but he gets something at least. Aggressive soul right. charge, okay. Whoa. And that's it. <laughs> and he's dead. Yeah. Didn't even have to use bar. Kashi gonna get his bonus bar back. Yeah, final round. No, well, if he takes this one, he wins the set. That's not gonna hit, I don't think, but it is safe. Oh, man. He that that, that, that should have lethal hit. He keeps putting himself in the air, and it's making Kashi's pressure just not work out all that well. I mean, yeah, I, I understand you have to do it, but he's, yeah, you know, you're going to have to deal with this. I don't know what you're going to do. You're in soul charge, but so am I. Yeah. <laughs> and you punish. get punished big. And yeah, just overall, no, uh, both of them just hopping all over the place. A couple of bunny rabbits over here. Oh, he gets the grab. That's going to kill. Yeah. Nine like, to eight. 
This 9B, 9K? Yeah. 7K, just like over and over again, putting themselves in the air. I think that's a much better thing for Mina to do. Oh, is he gonna go back to... He's gonna go to Mitsu! What? Well, there you go. I mean, you're getting... What? Oh, uh, he teased you. That was specifically for you, Tommy. Like, that was specifically for you. He just wanted to make you feel good for just a brief moment. We got this stage again. Oh, my God, he's back! <laughs> In the exact same situation we were at the start of this set. Nine to eight. One of the closest sets we've ever had. As to be expected, considering they're the same person. Whoa. Hey. The only person who can beat me is me. Yeah. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. <laughs> Ooh, catches the REB. Lots of damage there. Now Kashi has to, like, be like, do I remember what I was doing that was sort of working before, but not really? I was playing patient. I remember that much. Yeah. And then... Maybe I can try to overwhelm him again, and Nobo's like, yes, believe that. Believe you can do that. Oh, he actually gets the parry. No wall splat. Poke, and now it's time for Nobo to remind you that you may be in soul charge, <laughs> but I'm fighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, fantastic soul I appreciate aggressive soul charges just overall uh, to potentially like get something going when the opponent can't soul charge back. I guess Noah doesn't really care about that at all though. So thankfully but, I didn't say that and look like a doofus. That's what gets me with Noah is that for some reason when you pop soul charge you're no longer at advantage. Yeah. And he, and not because he soul charged back. And that and that's the thing that everybody does. So surprising. You you pop soul charge Noah sees red. <laughs> yeah. Two bars to none but also two rounds to none. Just tiny go. pokes, slow stuff. Now, if I remember correctly, the way that Novo was winning this matchup before, because they were going back and forth for a while, but then Novo started, like, leaning ahead. And the overall idea was that neither of them were able to start offensive pressure, so he just started doing more guard damage than Kashi was. And so, mm -hmm. I don't think that can work now because he's so far behind, but maybe next game, or just, like, getting used to it right now. And he's still got one bar left. Let's see if he uses it. Kashi's glowing red. But getting these nice sidesteps in the 3B, forcing him to use the meter, that's all Kashi wanted. If he can make Novo spend the Guard Crush before the last round... Ooh. No! Oh, you got overly ambitious, Novo! Is that death? Not yet. Oh, he dropped the combo! Okay. And 1K! 9 to 9. This is officially tied for the closest set that we've had. Shoutouts to, in fact, if I remember correctly, that other close set was Zephukai versus Noho. <laughs> so we're at a first to one. Indian Port. My favorite oh. stage, aka least favorite stage. It, it I, I like the stage, except for when I'm playing against Ivy or Yoshi. Or Aswell. Or, now, Aswell is not that bad. It's the, ugh. I but, mean, you just kind of get a free weapon, but okay. Oh yeah, that is kind of annoying. Yeah. I don't like the stage just in general. <laughs> I play a very short range character and I don't like sprinting at my opponent for 70 years in order to play Soul Calibur. Very true. Alright, goes for the mids. No wall, applying a lot of pressure. Akashi with the life lead. About 30% of life, life gauge increased. And life gauge difference. So I feel like that was, was like the first time that we were seeing No actually do back turn mix ups and stuff, and uh, it didn't really work out all that well. Ooh, is that what he wanted? I can't tell. Nice, but low. yeah, you don't have frame advantage at that point, so it's scary. <laughs> Easy with a 3k. Kashi first round down and with a slight meter lead. I wonder what the guard uh, situation is like right now. I don't think that Noah was really able to get anything going in that first game. Nice. Super free. He's got that lethal hit now. Ooh, decides to, like, just do the damage and then just get out. The 2k doesn't really matter to him. Yeah, 2-2a not punishable. Doing a lot of these 8-way run moves. He's figuring things out again. I think he's been doing a solid amount of guard damage, too. Ooh! 3k for that 3k from before. Nice side- Wow, that- The commitment to that sidestep. It happened like... He put his controller down and put all of his body weight on the up of the D-pad. 
<laughs> Interesting. Cycle cool, crash. Yeah, <laughs> cycle crash. Soul charge v soul charge. No immediately dashing in, but decides to pack up. Kashi creating so many whiff punish opportunities. And not much, not much really used. 3k. Guaranteed damage. No woe, that with a life lead. Immediately cancels out its stance. Oh, interesting. Shades of Manta. Yeah. <laughs> That's not it, it yet. No, it is yet. It is. I lied. No woe all fly around. No woe. Are you gonna be able to pull this off, Kashi? Are you going to be able to pull this off? Not getting those whiff punishes he was hoping for. Who oh, touched the combo, though? Alright. No. Ooh, tried Kashi. to go for the parry. It didn't work out. But he's Kashi ahead. has two bar. Yeah, he's got the two. Noah probably doesn't want to spend meter, but he's eating a lot of guard damage, probably. Ooh, I like the pushback, the 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 move choices in order to get that pushback. And good side steps, a little bit ambitious Ooh. with the GI, dude. All no, is all Noah was looking for is to get the guard damage. He is not trying to win this round right now. He's almost. I think he might be dead to his CE at this point. He put himself in back turn. He put himself. In, no, that's not gonna work. Oh. But it's gonna be safe. A plus B to get the guard damage again. We're going down to the. Okay. I Everybody's know. afraid to pull. That's it. 3K. Yes, it is. Kill. At zero seconds. Oh. oh, my God. At zero seconds, he pulls it up. He mean So all he was trying to do was get guard damage in that last round. Over and over and over again. And Kashi was not biting on anything. Then the second that Noah realized he had a chance of potentially winning it, he put himself into back turn to get Kashi to be worried about pressing any sort of buttons because then he was going to have to worry about the back turn CE, which then turned it into an additional mix-up because he was able to get the vert launcher. Oh my god. That was so many things for me to say. I had so many words.